high school student in Missouri experienced what no student should experience, uh, hearing incredibly offensive racial slurs from their teacher. Uh, the student also had the wherewithal to record it. As a result of that, demonstrating indisputably that the teacher was using racial slurs, there was a suspension of the student. We're gonna hopefully work it out by the end, but we're gonna give you the details first. Uh, Mary Walton, it's a three day suspension on Friday, this is the individual, uh, fighting to get it lifted. The teacher, whose name has not been released yet, was put on paid administrative leave eventually. So here is what's on the actual recording and what started the suspension. Uh, Walton said the teacher used the N word six times, two of which were recorded on her video. Walton wasn't sure what prompted the exchange, yet she said the teacher asked some of her classmates why they were allowed to use a slur, but he wasn't. I don't like the word, the teacher says. It feels like when a black person is using it towards another black person, how is it still not a derogatory word? I don't get it, he continues before being interrupted by someone else explaining that enslavers used, the, used to use the term. Quote, is this word and word not allowed? Don't say it right now as a teacher if you wanna keep your job, someone says to him. I'm not calling anyone a N word, the teacher says, I can say the word. Well, sure, you can say the word, but you can't necessarily say the word and be a teacher because there's something clearly wrong with you. Jared, what do you think? Yeah, it's you know, it's an age old thing. We're gonna hear about it in another six months. Another dumb ass teacher's gonna come out and say, why can't I say the N word? Are you guys saying it too? By the way, uh, newsflash for many folks who keep asking this question, how come black folks are so open to saying the N word? Um, Maybe you know more than one uh, that you probably brag to your friends about. But uh, there's many black folks that don't like the use of the N-word. They don't like the black folks use it amongst each other all the time because they then talk about the historical references and say, you guys shouldn't use that term for each other in kind of an endearing way because of A, B, and C. There's many discussions like that among black folks. And there's many folks who go, I don't care, it's fine. I use it amongst my friends because it's just the way it is for me now. But they don't care about those folks. What they wanna say is, I need the right to say it, what for? Because again, there's many folks are getting these back and forth discussions about that are both black folks from this. So he has to have this approach of, I'm gonna tell these students my point mm -hmm. of view and what it is that I'm gonna do. Why is that something that you need to do? And then he holds on so hard. There was a teacher uh -huh. out in California who said like 15, 20 times in the student's face, just to prove some point that I can say it. Sure, whatever shackles you need to have released off of you to say the N word, cool, say it. No one says that you literally don't have the ability to utter the word out of your mouth. It just means there's consequences to it later. And there's also consequence to it for black folks that do it too. Cuz I guarantee you, if a black yep. teacher says it in the middle of a class, they will also be fired. Yeah, hundred percent. Very reasonable. Um, and as you point out, you know, we've we've been through this many times. We're gonna go through this many times. I just, I like, I gotta understand that not everyone pays attention. Everything cares to pay attention. But like, how are you in? It's May seventeenth, twenty twenty three. I know this happened a few days ago, or whatever. Uh, May seventeenth, twenty twenty three, and you just came up with the question. Wait, why can you say it, but I can't say it? You're an adult. You just think you, you think you came up with that. How have you not experienced that we've been through this so many times? Like I understand not everybody, you know, like you know, hosts a show like this or listens to shows like this or whatever. But like, I at least think that we're trying to build to something. Like we we might talk about similar topics quite often, but the idea is that there's some sort of accrued knowledge. Ideally, wisdom that we're building. We're not just repeating over and over again, but so many like we're gonna have when I guess before when prom is gonna happen, we're gonna have some white kid with a crew cut holding up a sign that says something about uh, black people pick cotton, but I pick you because we have to every year, and we're gonna. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing over and over and over again. How have you not experienced multiple years of news cycles? Of, uh, can't say that, <laughs> idiots <laughs> like you doing this same stuff over and over again. I just don't get it, Jr. I don't get it. How is there no learning socially? It's it's a it's a power move. It's a structure thing. Like we just have control. This one thing is a lack of control over, it and they're very upset about it. Yeah. Anyway, really fast. Uh, the a representative for Springfield Public School says the teacher. Uh, placed on administrative leave, no longer employed now. So that's the good news, I would hope. So supposedly, uh, 
the idea that you would you would suspend the student at all. They're saying that it's like complying with electronic device like recording like rules and stuff like that. Maybe, but you know exactly what you did. Like there would be a way to comply with that to give the suspension, but make clear that you're not punishing them by like balancing it out by like recognizing the fact that it was brave to do this sort of thing. There are other moves that you could potentially make. Anyway, Mary Walton says I was just confused because I don't know what I did wrong. Yeah. Hundred percent. We need more students that are willing to stand up for what they believe. Look, and and by the way, when what you believe is reasonable, which it is in this case, we need this sort of oversight. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at YouTube.com/slash/The Damage Report, and you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.